Morning Cadet Vlogs. For this sortie, you will conduct normal circuits at RAF Base Williams. I'll expect you to fly the aircraft at all times, unless otherwise advised. I'll perform all necessary RT, and provide varying levels of instruction as we progress. Where more detailed instruction is required, I'll take over to allow you to focus on the tasks at hand. You'll start by completing the first two circuits as a touch and go, then fly the final circuit to a full stop. During that time, I'll provide decreasing levels of instruction in accordance with what's been taught. We're currently lined up at the hold short point at the end of runway 17, and you've actioned all previous checklist items up to the lineup checks. For the purposes of this sortie, I'd like you to outline the emergency and departure briefs again. Yes, ma'am. Emergency brief. For any abnormal indications prior to rotate, I will abort. For an engine fire or failure after takeoff with sufficient runway, I'll land straight ahead. With insufficient runway, I'll look for a suitable landing site to my 10 or 2 o'clock F over water. I'll prepare to ditch the aircraft. For any abnormal indications after rotate, I'll remain in the circuit, contact the duty instructor and consider landing back on this runway. Departure brief. This will be a normal takeoff, departing straight ahead on runway track, climbing to 1,000 feet and remaining in the circuit. Okay, commence the lineup checks. Landing light, on. Transponder, alt. As there is no visible moisture anticipated, leave the pedo heat in the off position. Pedo heat, off. Check that base and finals are clear of traffic, then taxi onto the runway, turning right to point down the length of the runway on the center line. Clear on base and finals. Point Cook traffic, Astra 476, entering and rolling runway 17 Point Cook. Check the HSI, verify that the heading indicator is showing within 2 degrees of the runway heading. Compass within 2 degrees of runway heading. Commence your takeoff roll. Smoothly advance the PCL to max. Full power, checked. RPM, checked. T's and P's in the green. Use rudder to maintain the runway center line. Remember, 
As you're turning to the left, begin your lookout from the right. Clear right. Front. Above. And left. Being sure to clear the crosswind to leg and along the downwind to leg for traffic. If traffic is a factor, you may need to extend your upwind to leg for spacing. When you're ready to turn, eyes out front and roll into the circuit direction. You may need to add additional back pressure to maintain the climb through the turn and make your crosswind RT call. When established in the turn, perform the A-lap work cycle. Are you ready to take control? Yes, ma'am. Handing over. Taking over. Eyes out the front. And roll. Attitude. Look out into the turn direction. Attitude. Performance. Point Cook Traffic, Astra 476, Crosswind Runway 17, Point Cook. Anticipate the crosswind heading and roll wings level. Continue the climb to circuit altitude. Look 
scan is completed, check for traffic on the MFD to confirm that no aircraft have been missed, then declare how many aircraft are in the circuit, and their position. In the event that you don't have visual contact on confirmed traffic ahead of you, either on base or final, a go-around would be required. Clear right, front, above, and left. No aircraft on base or final. Taking over. Handing over. Commence the base turn when the runway threshold is approximately 45 degrees behind your left wing in a left hand circuit, or right wing in the case of a right hand circuit. In the case of strong winds, consider adjusting the base turn point to account for wind. Point Cook Traffic, Astra 476, Base Runway 17, Touch and Go, Number 1, Point Cook. When turning base, bring the PCL back to 20% power and commence a 30 degree angle of bank level turn into the second direction. Handing over. Taking over. Lower the nose to maintain 85 knots, rolling out to track 90 degrees to the runway heading. To achieve 500 feet AGL on final within an acceptable 400 to 600 foot window, use power to control the rate of descent and attitude to control airspeed. Handing over. Taking over. Once again, perform your ALAP work cycle, being sure to look out for any aircraft, in addition to the location of the runway extended centerline. For runway 17, that's the main road just to the right of the sports complex. Clear right, front, above, and left.
cross the threshold and at approximately 10 to 15 feet above the runway, close the BCL and bring the nose up to a flare attitude, allowing the aircraft to gently touch down.